there, it's Heidi Tillotson with Downtown NorCal and I'm coming to you live from Capitola Beach, one of my favorite places to shop in Northern California. This last week I had a whole bunch of new followers and I really wanted to just reach back out and tell you thank you and remind you who I am and why I'm doing this. This is all about you and small businesses. And I would love to be showing you some of my really true favorites and they're all around, but uh, right now, we're not able to get a good upload speed, so I apologize. I'm drinking, well, I may or may not be drinking a Nicholson Chardonnay from, um, where is it, honey? Corlitos. Corlitos. 2015, very nice. Well, again, I can't verify whether this is that or, or something else, but. It's refreshing. Okay. So as we walk in Capitola, I just wanted to tell you about downtown NorCal and why I'm doing this. It's not for vanity reasons. I get out front of the camera so that I can speak to you about the importance of small businesses. And for 10 years, I wrote a column in my local paper, the Davis Enterprise, called The Personal Shopper. The whole point was to highlight uniqueness in that geographic region of Davis. But I really wanted to explode and expand it to all of Northern California because small businesses everywhere. They used to be under threat by big boxes. But you know, actually today I'm thankful for big boxes because they also give you the opportunity to look and see and test those products that you want to buy and bring home rather than guessing online. And so even though I don't really uh, talk about larger businesses on the, my blog, I do spend all of my time in small businesses for that reason. I am not staggering because I've had anything out of this bottle. I'm just staggering because I'm walking funny to get anyway. I am wearing some interesting items. We're just gonna let some people pass so that we don't interrupt. Let's come into the door, honey. Um, this is a top from years and years ago. We, I took a family photo in this, in this top like when my 21 year old son, who's like this now, was about right here on me. The jeans are from a couple of years ago. The belt is this year. Let's see, this little top on the inside is from Sweet Asylum, um, right here in the village this year. And am I wearing anything else? Shoes, these are from Davis. So this is a theory top from Yvonne. Again, I said it's many years old, but I love it. And one of the reasons I wanted to talk about this blouse is because when I bought it, uh, theory wasn't known well. And so now you can find theory all over and we rely on theory as really great business wear, a lot of great skirts and things, but of course they were first found in boutiques. Why do I care so much about small businesses? Well, it's because I care about communities and what small businesses bring to all of us. They not only, they not only, my husband's telling me to stop. Trying, <laughs> trying to keep you in me. the picture. Yeah. I hope you can hear me. Um, they not only support our community culture and all of our business needs, all of the needs we have for goods to purchase, but they really do set the tone for a community. They're there to sponsor events that we all take for granted, Christmas tree lightings or um, Halloween trick-or-treating times or, you know, um, if you have a donation need for the PTA, they're there for you. They're actually donating. We just had a cute little guy come by. You know, he probably attends a surf school down here and they need donations. So who do they go to? Small businesses down here and they're supportive. So they provide jobs and tax revenue and charitable donations and they're there. You know, sometimes we get pretty lonely too. I hear a lot of people aren't taking vacations anymore, and I'm all about taking a vacation, but sometimes you just need a place in your own community to go to. It feels like a vacation. So, why are you coming up so close? Because of the loud car. <laughs> Make sure that you're heard. <laughs> so, you know, small businesses allow us that little tiny escape, even if it's a lunch hour escape. So think about the businesses in your community that you should be supporting. That's what I'm here about, to expose you to new places, but also to encourage you to think about what's right in your own hometown. So, I will see you next week, right before Halloween. I've got a special surprise, and um, thanks again for following Downtown NorCal. It's not about...
about me again, it's about you.